So, um, Sangiovese, we are talking about what, what is the character of Sangiovese. Huh? I think uh, a winemaker of Sangiovese has to, to think of Sangiovese. <laughs> Personally, I think uh, the key for Sangiovese is a variety which is high acidity and could, be, could have quite astringent tannins. The two things, when you have a high acidity and astringent tannins, mm, that's the problem of Sangiovese in the world palate. It's difficult to drink. Of course, we say it needs food. Yes, but it needs also to consider that we have to be careful. When we have acidity and tannins, we must uh, think of wine making uh, in the priority has to be thinking of uh, the balance. So, not the wine making of getting the most out of the grapes. No, because very easily over extracting, over extracting. So in, uh, in my winery, I have many different ways of fermenting. Uh, we always, in an estate vineyard, we always have some Sangiovese which is not perfect, which is not completely ripe. We cannot make the wine the same way we make when we have a very ripe Sangiovese. But those, those grapes could be extremely useful. Rosé from Sangiovese, when it is not completely right, are, are wonderful. I don't make a rosé, but uh, when we have Sangiovese, which is not completely right, very short maceration, very intense in the early part. We get the color we get, but we get extremely fresh, fine, chianti aromatics, uh, almost flowers. We get the violet, we get the, 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 the lilium. Uh, the, mm -hmm and we get uh, the sour cherry, which gives the, 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 the very red uh, berries and cherries uh, to, to the final blend. So, for complexity, huh? the state wine, there is always some grapes, but we don't, don't pick everything. Hmm? And uh, I, I, I had the visitors, winemakers, working uh, the harvest, and they get shocked, because uh, it's not easy, because you have to be there. It cannot be done by phone, by, by a consultant winemaker. But we see the grapes, I look, and uh, this has to be done here, this you can... And then I have the Cepahelo selection, where we have ripeness, good, thick skin. But things uh, from, a, from, a, from a winery, from, from a vineyard, are never black or white. There is all the grain between. So in the cellar, we have all the grain between. We have the Cepahelo selection, we have those Sangiovese, which we do very light for the freshness of the aromatics. I have what I call the Ceparellino. So the wines, the grapes, which are maybe not as good as the very, very, very best selection, but I know we can extract a little more. That wine is kept separate because uh, I could use in the blender to give a little more finesse to the Ceparello, or I could, go, could give a little more flash to, to, the, to the Chianti blend, to the vintage blend. So I think making Sangiovese, you have to understand this. You get the rain, a little more moisture in the soil, you go 10 meters, same clone. I mean, forget about genetics, because uh, genetic is extremely important, we need to select. But Sangiovese is uh, all uh, about uh, how the genetic express in certain conditions. So, you, you, do, you go 10 meters, you have a part of the soil which is deeper with clay and retains moisture, you go with the, I, I've been doing a lot of work with the nursery man eh, from France. In the early times, he was uh, walking the Venus, and this is not the same as here. Yes, it is. But it's completely different because, you know, it's like, uh, you know, if you starve or if you eat too much. And, uh, and in, within 10 meters. So, Working in the Sangiovese state and making wine from Sangiovese, these are the things you have to have as a priority. Understand, understand the skin, understand what to extract, and not uh, uh, extract too much when it's not the case.